Are you stuck looking for a sweet spot between user connection speed, cloud hosting performance, and the buffer window you use to request data? Well, you're in luck, because today on Cloud Storage Bytes, we're exploring the Venn diagram that is performance, and we're going to find that overlap. Stay tuned. If you're a company that streams data, performance for you and your users is going to be a reasonably huge priority. Let's say you're a company that's looking to duplicate your content for an international audience. Your architecture setup is pretty simple, currently serving data directly from Google Cloud Storage to users on mobile and desktop. Let's take a look at how you can go about optimizing your window size so you can ensure consistent buffering to all of your clients, no matter where they are. To make sure we're on the right track, we'll need to profile how the read performance adjusts at various window sizes of download. You can test this by writing a small script. Create a regional bucket, create a bunch of files at a bunch of sizes, upload them, and download each file 100 times via an HTTP fetch request with caching disabled. If you run this script, you'll see that there are consistent results for files smaller than one megabyte, which we already knew from previous episodes. And if you run it again, but tweak it slightly using a larger file fetched through different chunks, you'll see that as chunk size decreases, the transactional overhead increases and slows everything down. As we know already, Google Cloud Storage is very powerful in terms of single stream throughput and write throughput, meaning that for both uploads and downloads, Google Cloud Storage is optimally utilized for requests that are no smaller than one megabyte in size. Otherwise, that all too familiar transactional overhead is going to bog things down again. With this information, you can better determine what level of regional redundancy is needed for serving your video content. And you can optimize for the 1 meg plus Google Cloud Storage target to improve your buffering speeds. There's plenty more to come about optimizing performance, but we're going to go ahead and save that for another time. If you want to know more, go ahead and check out the links in the description. And don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, and tell us what you want to learn about Google Cloud Storage. Thanks for joining us for this quick bite of cloud storage. See you next time. <laughs>